Hey everyone, Dan from On One, and welcome to On One Photo Raw 2017. Let me give you a quick tour. I'm starting here in the Browse module. When you launch the app on its own, this is where you're going to start. Browse is where you can find and manage your photos and pick which ones you want to work on. Let's start over here on the left hand side under the Browse tab. This is where you'll see all of the files and folders on your computer. You'll see all of your hard drives, all of your cloud storage services, and if you set up index folders, you'll see them up here at the top. Those are your most common places to find your photos. You'll also see your albums. There's the filter pane for searching and finding photos. And the recents pane shows you any photos you've worked on recently. In the middle, you'll see thumbnails of all the photos for the folder that you're browsing. You can make those thumbnails bigger or smaller just using the little thumbnail size slider down here at the bottom. If you want to take a closer look at a photo, simply double click and you'll get a full screen version of it. You can view it even closer by clicking again. You'll be able to view it at 100% and you can zoom and pan around. You can also go to the new film strip view and see other photos in the same folder. So it makes it easy to switch between photos to pick out just the one you're interested in. On the right, you'll see information about your photo. You see what camera it was taken with and what lens and different shooting information. You can also add metadata such as keywords and descriptions and author information to it. When you're ready to work on a photo, you just select which module you want to use over here in the module selector on the right. I'm going to go to develop. Develop is new and that's where you do all of your raw processing. Doing your adjustments to tone and color and your most common global adjustments occur right here inside of develop. You start off in the tone and color pane. That's where stuff like exposure and highlights and shadows and structure and temperature and tint are going to be controlled. But there's a lot more you can do. Click the show more button and you can see all of the other options that you can add. Things like noise reduction or vignettes or sharpening can all be added right here inside of develop. There's also a fleet of tools over here on the left. There's a crop tool, local adjustment brushes, and retouching tools. I'm just going to grab the retouch brush and I'll use it to get rid of these little dusty guys here and here. And I think I'm going to add an auto tone to fix the brightness and contrast and add an auto color. When I'm ready to do more, I'll go to effects. Effects is a flexible stack of over 20 different filters that you can stack up. It works a lot like develop. There's just a lot more options that you can add. You can stack them manually or do what I do and use the presets over on the left to get you started. Let's just go to the architecture category. You can see I can preview my photo right here inside of it and click on one that I like. There we go. If we look, that added a dynamic contrast filter, one of my favorites. And then I can manually add whatever I want on top of it. Maybe we'll add a vignette. So I'll just click on add filter and I'll add a vignette and pick one of the new styles from the top to make it easy to add. We'll add a subtle little vignette. Cool. Now in effects, there's a ton of extra control. I can use all of the masking tools to paint that effect in or out, or I can use the global blending options to apply an effect to a certain color range or to protect certain areas like the highlights or the shadows. It gives you the ultimate flexibility in an effects engine. Beyond effects, there's the layers module. Layers lets me combine multiple photos together as a new layered stack. It's great for creating composites and doing things like blending in new skies or swapping heads or creating creative composites. I'm just going to use the quick mask tool to quickly remove the sky in one step. There you go. Now we have a new sky behind our building. Let's pop back into browse. You notice there's a new file right next to my original raw photo. The new one has the multiple layers merged together. See, there it is. Did I mention I can apply my presets right here inside of Browse 2? Watch this. There we go. I can apply a preset right on top of a layered Photoshop file. All right, now it's time to print it. Let's click on the Resize module to get it ready to print. Resize is the best place to prepare my photo to print. I can crop it, resize it, and sharpen it without any loss in quality at all. It's also really easy to share my photos out of Photo Raw. Let me show you a couple ways. We'll go to the File menu and use Quick Export. This is a great way to pick a full size version of your photo in a different file format. So if I need a JPEG at full size, this is the quickest way to do it. If I need to do more advanced work, I want to work on a batch of photos, I can use Export. You 
Here I can pick the file type and the location and the names, but I can also add things like changing the photo size, adding a watermark, tiling it, making a gallery wrapper sharpening. Of course, you can print right inside of Photo Raw as well. And if you're on a Mac, you can use the built in Mac sharing options to do things like email, post it to Facebook, or Flickr right inside of Photo Raw as well. All right, there you have it a quick tour of the new On One Photo Raw. Thanks for watching.